Now, here's what's in this proposed Senate border plan. Mandatory detention of all single adults. Mandatory shutdown of the border once the average daily migrant encounters hits 5,000. And the shutdown would not lift until daily encounters reduced to less than 3,750 encounters per day. And in short, here's the plan of how many migrants would be allowed into the U.S. under the Senate deal. 150,000 per month and 1.8 million per year. That's about the population of Phoenix. At a certain point, uh, we are going to have to publicly call the question of our Republican colleagues in a variety of ways mm. uh, when it comes to doing what is right for America's national security interests and uh, for fixing our broken immigration system. Or we're just going to make it clear that Republicans have no interest in dealing with the border issue. They'd rather try to weaponize it for political purposes. This whole border deal, they want the perception that they're taking the border seriously without actually doing anything to take the border seriously. But as you said, they see the polls. They know that this looks bad for them right now. But I've always maintained Democrats, they're not stupid. They see the long game of this. Six million plus illegal immigrants already in this country. So they're OK, in my opinion, with taking a little heat on this now because they know that this is going to pay out for them for years and years to come because the next stage of this is going to be amnesty, vote voting rights, 6 million plus since Biden took office, probably closer to 10, if we're being honest. You don't have to win the hearts and minds of the American people if you've got millions of people that are indebted to you. And that is the long term plan. Do not be fooled. They are not stupid, maybe sinister, maybe very strategic, but not stupid. President Biden reacting in a statement saying, quote, for too long, we all know the border's been broken. It's long past time to fix it. What's been negotiated would, if passed into law, be the toughest and fairest set of reforms to secure the border we've ever had in our country. It would give me, as president, a new emergency authority to shut down the border when it becomes overwhelmed. This is what he wants to happen. That's why he's not going to stop it. I mean, he started this crisis with his pen. He could end this crisis with his pen. And instead of doing that, what the Senate wants to do is codify this invasion into law. I mean, you saw those numbers, 150,000 illegal immigrants a month, over 1.8 million a year. That's an invasion in perpetuity if the Senate gets its way. So that's what he wants. And I love how he says, oh, I need this bill so I can shut down the border if it's overwhelmed. What do you call over 6 million illegal immigrants that have come into the country? More than 33, the population of 33 states, right? He already has the emergency authority to shut this thing down if he wanted to. But not only does he not want to, but he's fighting states like Texas, we're trying to get the job done. So this is going exactly as planned. This is what Joe Biden wanted. On day one of this administration, who ended all border construction? Yeah, it was uh, President Joe Biden. Uh, right? look, the, 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 best, the best president in my lifetime was President, president Trump, and he did it with the existing laws. Lock down the border, get rid of the rewards and incentives, mm -hmm. re reject the amnesty. Why don't you just try enforcing the current law? And the other thing is just driving me nuts is that the president of the United States right now will not talk to the Border Patrol. They haven't talked in like two and a half years. Talk to Brandon Judd, in who's in charge of the Border Patrol Union. Mm -hmm. Do it the Border Patrol. Tries. You don't need this other piece of legislation. If it was such a great piece of legislation, how come it's not out there in the light of day for all of us to read it? That, this thing is so fundamentally wrong. It should be wrong and should be rejected just from the fact that they're touting and selling it, but they're not showing you the text. Day one also stopped to remain in Mexico. Day one also reinstated catch and release. All I know is in Texas, the governor there is trying to put up razor wire in the most heavily trafficked areas to stop this in some way since the feds won't. And yet the Biden administration is fighting him tooth and nail on that.